Hi kids. Yesterday I um, made a post on my Facebook asking everyone uh, what should I be doing in today's session and I have re re uh, received uh, some requests from some of the kids. I'm trying to pull them out and read them to you. Let's see. Okay, one kid asked for SpongeBob Pineapple House, the other Statue of Liberty. Then one girl asked for a boy and a girl under a rainbow. Then one of them asked for a running unicorn. One of them asked for butterfly or a nice bird. And someone asked for dancing rats. And one kid asked for an Indian tiger. And yeah, as I said in the previous videos too, if you have any requests, if you want me to show you any particular drawing, uh, go ahead and post it in the comment section and I will try to teach you that drawing. So today, for today's uh, session, I have chosen the first request, the SpongeBob SquarePants house, the pineapple house. So we are going to draw that. Today for a change, I am doing the drawing with color pencils. I'm not doing the drawing with marker or regular pencils. I'm doing the drawing with color pencils itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. I chose a brown color to do the outline of the pineapple first. So with the brown color, I'm going to do curve line slowly and neatly. And the same thing on the other side, slow and neat, please. As it comes down, it should go in just a little, okay? Not much, just a little. And then I'm going to do the bottom line too, but I'm going to leave some gap for the door, the front door. This is just for the pineapple part, okay? Now for the windows for the windows i am going to use a bluish violet and do the outline and then a second circle now let's go ahead and do the door which i'm going to do in this gap first going to do the outline then a second line now the third line should be close to the second line like that okay i'm going to go to the center put a tiny circle and then a second circle around it now i'm going to do a curve line on the top, a curve line on the bottom. I'm going to go to the side and do two curve lines on each side, trying to keep them opposite to each other, like that. Then go ahead and do the bottom line for the door. Now go ahead and do the tiny circles which are kind of bolts on the door there you go now let's go ahead and do another circle over here for the smaller window close to the door then one more now you might want to do go ahead and do those tiny circles the bolts on the outer circle too the same thing over here try to place them at regular intervals like that okay i'm going to go ahead and do the um pipe coming out of the house the chimney kind of thing going to bring out two lines then make a tiny curve line at the end 
go to the side and slowly turn and go up repeat the same thing over there and I join that now two curve lines and then join that too now if you want you can make those dots to make it look like the bowls it's attached by the bowls okay oh uh, there you go now i'm going to go ahead and draw the lines on the pineapple using the same brown that you used for the outline i'm going to do diagonal lines jumping over whatever is coming in between slow and neat let me Trying to keep them at regular intervals. There you go. I'm going to do the outlines on the, I mean the lines on the opposite direction. Try to make them like curve lines, not straight lines. If you make them like curve lines, then it will look like the pineapple is more rounded. The curve lines will give it a look of being cylindrical okay now that is done let's go ahead and use a green color to do the leaves on top of the pineapple there you go now i'm going to from the center i'm going to do my first leaf Two curve lines going up to make a point like that then comes the second one for the second one this is what I'm going to do I'm going to do two curve lines like this then on the bottom a little away from the first one there you go the same thing on this side now come down halfway through and do two more lines then one more curve line and there you go i'm going to put some more a couple of more leaves in the middle with the curve lines again there done now i want to go ahead and draw the line which divides the seabed and the water so for the line which divides the seabed and the water i'm going to use um color which looks kind of like beige sand color whatever you want to call it i'm going to go up somewhere in line with the center of this window and i'm going to do a wavy line jump over to the other side repeat the same thing okay now using the same blue color which i have used for the uh the door the windows and everything i'm going to do the structures on the back i do not know what they are called very sorry about my lack of knowledge i do not watch spongebob so i'm going to go ahead and do this shape now i am going to do a door while drawing try using the tip of the color pencil okay now I'm going to do one more circle on the top and then divide this into two halves now make those dots for the balls and then I'm going to make one circle in the center then a second one around it now draw a line and then put those dots for the bowls again then i'm going to do a cross line like that a curve line which is bent over and do a curve line on the top now draw two lines now comes the chimney kind of thing on this one too go ahead and then one line here one line going diagonally so that is that 
that is done now i'm going to go ahead and draw a small plant which is on the seabed just with some curve lines like this okay i'm going to go ahead and do a with a oh i thought i pulled out the black pencil okay there it is now i'm going to use the purple color first the reddish purple color and do a flower to start with and then to the center of the flower and then i will do a rock on which the flower is growing that's the base now let's do the base for this to show that the sand is around it now let's go ahead and do the flowers in the background i see some big flowers in the background uh, when i look at pictures on spongebob's um, pineapple house i'm sorry my neighbor's dog is very excited about something and it's continuously barking so let's go ahead and do the flowers so i'm going to do the flower with wavy lines going in coming out going in coming out going in coming out like that okay it's a five petal flower now i want to do one more layer so i'm going to go around it little wide to make the line slightly wider now i see these flowers in yellow color pink color blue color I believe you can pick whatever color you want. You don't have to stick to the same color palette that I am using. And as always, you don't have to use the same color pencils that I am using. Use whatever is available at home. Okay. Now do the center line. There you go. Now I'm going to go back to the same purple pink color and do a flower on the top which is only partially visible like that now do the double line slowly and neatly make it wider now let's imagine the center to be there okay so i'm going to go ahead and do a yellow flower which is going to be slightly smaller on this side Now let's go ahead and do the double line make it slightly wider then the center nice now I believe the drawing part is done let's go ahead and start coloring now for the coloring I'm going to use the yellow that I just used for the flower and then i'm going to color in right under this window and above the window going all the way to the top as you go to the top make it slightly narrow this is going to be the highlight point on the pineapple like that now comes the orangish yellow and then go ahead and do that color on the side
and come into the brighter yellow just a little not much okay then i'm going to go for the brownish mustard kind of yellow and then do a really thin shading not very broad on that side i'm going to do the same orangish yellow on the other side of the window big window and let me first go ahead and do the outline okay now slow and neat coloring in only one direction see how my coloring is going only from top to bottom and bottom to top i'm not going horizontally suddenly okay don't do that slow and neat how many of you like spongebob my son used to watch it when he was little He's all grown up now, so I don't get to see what the new shows are. Unless any of the friends visit and their kids want to watch TV. So there you go. I'm going to use the same brownish color. Brownish yellow and slowly blend in. I'm going to do it really light because it's more towards the brown and less towards the yellow. So I'm going to use this as a thin layer first. Really thin layer first. And then I'm going back with the yellow orange on top of it. That will give the brightness, but also give the 3D look because of the brown layer which I did first. There you go. Giving it more of a rounded look because of the brown shade. Now I'm going to bring in the brighter yellow and color in a little more on the orange yellow and go on the other side too just a little to blend in that color. There you go. Now one last touch. I'm going to make these corners rounded so that means i'm going to draw a curve line and color inside them like that okay let me zoom in to show you one corner so i'm going to draw curve lines like this on all the four sides where the lines are meeting and then I color inside that okay so I'm going to do this on all the corners just to make the pineapple look more rounded and real but do not go too far from the lines, okay? Try to be as close to the joining point where all the four lines are joining. Just make sure don't go too far. Like that. zoom out do the same thing on all the corners I'm 
wherever the lines are meeting. Now once you are done with those corners, do two or three lines in the middle of each of the square or diamond, whatever you want to call. There you go. Okay, well done. Now I am trying to find a darker brown. Yep. And then I quickly want to add some darkness to it. Just a little. Because now everything looks, though it looks rounded, all the lines look flat. So I'm quickly going to add a few lines with the darker brown. Okay, and maybe make the centers a little dark. There you go. And with the reddish brown, add a little shading on the edges, just a little, not much. Nice. Now I'm going to use a blue color to do the window. I'm going to do it really light and then do it even lighter on the sides. Now just to add depth shadow, I'm going to do it slightly darker just in a curve line on the glass part. There you go. Okay. Now I repeat the same thing on the smaller window. Color in really light without any pressure. And then little darkness in the shape of a curve line. Then once again color it really light. And then you can do the shadow, just a curve line on the outer side, to, not the shadow, but to make it look three dimensional, just a little like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the door as light as possible. You can do the whole thing in one go and then you can add dark and darker shading but try to keep it really light on the first layer now, as I said I have re received multiple requests on what to do next we will be working on all of those requests so if i am not doing yours today don't worry i will get to that now go ahead and do a dark line 
next to the second curve just to add some depth and then on the side too now on here the door handle just to show the 3d look now i'm going to just darken this just a little okay and then color in so that they don't blend in with the rest of the door like that there you go now let's go ahead and do this uh i would call that chimney so whatever you want to call that let's go ahead and do it really light Try to keep it as light as possible, following the direction of your drawing. Color the whole thing. Now, I am going to do the darkness just on one side. Like that. Okay? Let's go ahead and do this one. It's just, this is the same color too. Color the whole thing really light. Whole thing really light. And then you can add the shading just a little. Just a little darkness here and there. Only on one side of the bag. There you go. Now I might want to go back on this and do the outline one last time. Like that. Okay. Cool. Now let's do... What shall we do next? Let's do the leaves. I'm going to start with the lighter green first i want to do the light green the yellowish brightish green first on all the leaves like this just a wide curve line Okay, now I'm going to use the medium green and go ahead and color the leaf. Slow and neat. not worried about the outline on the center one because there are more leaves around it so that's the reason i did not do any outline because but I, when i go to the last area last leaves that's when i do the outline there you go slow and neat to all the leaves in the light green, the medium green color. As I said, when you come to the outer edge, do the outline first and then color in so that you don't go out of the border. Now, once you color in the whole thing, I want to go back on top of this with the darker green and give some shading. Some shading on the bottom part. On all of them.
okay now to show these two leaves are in the back I'm going to do the shading a little darker than the rest of them Under here, I might want to brighten the leaves a little more, so I am adding one more layer of that green. Careful around the borders if you are getting close to the borders. Follow the direction of your drawing. Also over there. Almost done with the green too. Yay! Now, do you think does it look like SpongeBob's real pineapple house? Does it? Close to. It looks like a pineapple to me. I like it. Do you all like it? It's fun drawing, right? Now let's go ahead and the, do the front path. For the path, I'm going to use the dark green. And from this corner of the door, I'm going to do a line going away. And then one more over here. See how those two lines are going away from each other? Okay. Now let's go ahead and do some. oval shapes in different sizes to show the pebbles on the path and then slowly color it in following the direction of your drawing being careful not to go inside the pebbles the oval shapes okay careful and neat coloring slow and neat Like, okay. Now I'm going to go in with the lighter screen and then color inside those pebbles. Now, if you want, you can use the medium green and give just a curve line in the bottom. there you go I'm done with that too I am going to go ahead and do the tree which on um, which I will be using the same colors as in the path okay so let me first go ahead and do some dots with the brighter green like that tiny dots and then I'm going to use the green to color in being careful around those dots you might want to do it a little darker to show that those spots okay but do not put too much pressure with the pencil. Your fingers will hurt. If you put a lot of pressure with the uh, on the pencil, your fingers will hurt too. 
so do it as light as possible there you go okay so i'm going to go ahead and color the rock i'm going to use the gray color darker gray in the bottom and then lighter gray on the inside fill out the rest of the rock there you go now i'm going to go ahead and use the darker gray and do some oval shaped dots in different sizes to make it look more like natural sand like this just a few oval shapes just some marks okay now once that is done i'm going to go ahead with the sand color that i have used to do the outline and i'm going to go ahead and do the coloring around the pineapple next to the path under those black lines around the plant do it carefully around the plant try not to use the tip of the pencil so that you don't leave any marks now go ahead and color it in one direction going from one side to the other side slow and neat there you go done with it on this side I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side. As you can see, I'm done with the seabed part. Now let's go ahead and do the water. For the water, I'm going to use two different colors, a blue and an aqua green kind of color. The blue will be on the bottom side, close to the seabed, and the aqua color will be on the top. So let's first go ahead and do all the outlines that you need to do for the blue slowly and neatly using the side of the pencil so that you don't do any um don't leave any marks any pencil lines do the shading only with the side of the pencil like that going to do it on this side too. Feel free to turn your paper around when you are doing work. If you are more comfortable in doing in one particular direction, always feel free to turn your paper around. Now over here and then I'm going to do an outline around this area. around the pineapple now I think that is uh, till here will be the blue color and be above that will be the aqua green color I'm going to first go ahead and color the blue color first so for this I'm going to turn the sheet upside down okay and then go ahead and do the coloring I'm going to simply do using the side of the pencil follow only one direction okay just go from one side to the other side if you change the direction it will look like the water is flowing in all different directions and it will not look like the calm seabed slowly we're just from one side to the other side now 
Now when you come to the flower, just go inside, do not do on top of that line because it might change the color, especially when you come to the yellow flower. If you do the blue color on top of it, it will become like a green color. Okay, now done with this side. Let's go ahead and do the same on this Once side. Once you're done with the blue color till the extent that you want it, you want to do the aqua color on the top, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do the outline with the aqua color slowly and neatly do the outline around all the leaves around the flowers and everywhere there you go done with all the outlines do you see how i did the outline uh, out on the outside of the flower and also on the inside of the flower let me show that on the yellow flower so i did on the outside now i'm going to go ahead and do on the inside hold your pencil really close when you are doing small areas like this slowly because if you go on top of the yellow with this color it will become green so we don't want the flower to become green right now go ahead and fill those tiny areas where there is a gap Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of the water in the background. Do the coloring in one direction. Remember from one side to the other side. We don't want the water to be flowing in all different kind of directions. We don't want Spongebob to have a lot of chaos around his uh, house. So the water flowing so it should be peaceful so for it to look peaceful you have to do the coloring only in one direction if you do the coloring in multiple directions the water will not look peaceful and spongebob will get worried let's do the coloring in one direction from one side to the other side just some simple straight lines but using the side of the pencil not the tip of the pencil Now, I'll be more comfortable if I turn this around and bring this close to me. So, I turned it around, brought it close to me. And fill in those gaps. Now, I see there are more gaps earlier because of the light. I couldn't see them. Okay. Follow the same direction from one side to the other side. Do not change the direction. going to go ahead and color inside the flower there you go let's see okay now I might want to darken it a little with the aqua color on the top so let me quickly do that I'm going to add one more layer with the color
this side of the yellow flower. Remember, be very careful next to the yellow flower. Now, let's go ahead and one quick thing. I'm going to bring in the aqua color a little lower into the blue area so that it looks blended. Okay, just a little into the blue area. Not much. Now I'll do the same thing with the blue color. I'm going to go up a little into the, just a little, really light into the aqua color so that it looks like it's a smooth blend of colors. There you go. Done with the coloring. Okay. Do you want to see all the color pencils that we have used today? We have used so many colors. Ooh. These are all the colors that we used today. Okay. So, now, now that the picture is done, hope you all like it. The person who asked for SpongeBob Pineapple House, hope you are happy with the drawing. Take care, see you all and don't forget to leave your request in the comment section. If you want me to teach you something that you like, please mention it in the comment section and we'll do that um, in the future. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.